Hi, it's Diana Marchand from Raw Foods Made Simple. And what I'm showing you in this video is I'm cooking something. I'm going to show you how to make something very simple. A friend of mine or a lady who was part of my class who is fantastic showed me this recipe, shared it with us, and it is one of my favorites, absolute favorites. <clears throat> it's made with buckwheat, which is a seed totally gluten-free, higher in protein, and so many good nutrients in it. So you buy buckwheat grouts. Now make sure you get the take this off for a second the whole buckwheat grout so not the ones that have been already broken up so I'm going to just kind of show you right here this is what they look at look like and they're quite hard at first now you can either use them as is or you can soak them here are some that have been soaked and sprouted soak for 12 hours rinse really well so uh, you can let them sit again um, there's lots of info on sprouting buckwheat online I also have a video on it then this is the mixture, the batter that we're going to use. So what I've done is one egg white, a half a cup of buckwheat grouts, and um, a half a cup of almond milk. I use the bought and stuff. My boyfriend buys it. it. It makes these wraps way better. And then I add a bit of Himalayan salt, and I blend it in my Nutribullet or whatever blender you have. Now, if your buckwheat is sprouted, you need to use over a half a cup because you know when it sprouts, it expands, so it's not really half a cup anymore. So I would use about three quarter a cup of the sprouted buckwheat. If it's still too thin, add more buckwheat that maybe it's not sprouted, just the, the raw buckwheat. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the finished product. Here it is right here. It looks a little funny, but yes, you can let it cool and roll it into a like tortilla, or you can eat it as a, like a crepe warm or make it thicker like a buckwheat pancake it's fantastic okay this is a hot stove so i have a bit of oil in here i like coconut oil or, or grapeseed oil you can heat it at a high temperature now you use less than a half a cup of batter if your frying pan is about this size this is trial and error it's going to take some time to learn so you just take some of the batter and you're going to pour it in my pan is quite hot it's like when you first start, you leave it um, just between middle and high. Now, I have a gas burner stove, so gas and electric are very different. So you got to find the temperature that works right for you, but it needs to be quite hot. Let the oil heat up in the pan. Let the pan heat up, just like making crepes and pancakes, and then you pour the batter in. Now you can measure it out, could be a quarter cup, could be a third of a cup of batter. I don't usually measure. And then you got to turn the frying pan so that the batter is distributed evenly or you can take your spatula and just spread it out nice don't press too hard it'll start to cook very fast now like a pancake you're going to see the air bubbles come to the surface and it's going to start bubbling this is what you want these take longer than you think let me tell you you think they're going to cook really fast but they actually take longer just watch for burning if you smell burn it starts to burn turn the temperature down now, when I use the amount of batter I told you about, we're using half a cup or more of buckwheat, makes two sizes like this, plus we have some more batter left. So maybe two and a half, maybe close to three of these um, tortillas, I call them, whatever you want to call them, wraps. <laughs> so I'll just show you what the pan's starting to do. It's just starting to bubble a bit. There it is right there. That is it cooking. I won't be able to show you in this whole video how it's done. But what you want to do is this will stick. So don't try to turn it too fast. How you know it's ready to turn is when you shake your pan, your fire pan, and it moves back and forth really easily, then it's ready to turn. Don't try to turn it before, it won't work. And like I said, it does take a little bit of time. And then you're going to flip it over on the other side until it's done to the consistency you want. If you get it too thick, it's going to be really spongy and thick. That's okay. Just next time, try to get it a little thinner unless you want the pancakes. So this is the simple, easy recipe, and you will love these. You can make them up ahead of time and put them in bags and keep them in the fridge, and therefore you have like your own tortilla wraps. Super fast, easy, simple ingredients, no preservatives, no sugar. It is fantastic. I want you to try these buckwheat wraps. I know you're gonna love them. Like I said, if you don't get it the first time, keep trying. It just takes a little bit of practice. Once you get them, you'll love them. If you have any questions, you can always um, email me about these, but I'm sure you'll have fun with them and enjoy. This is a perfect recipe.